Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a chatty get ready with me with my Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. You guys know this is the month of... This is the palette that I'm choosing for the month of June and I haven't filmed a video in what feels like forever. So if you want to chat, and this is very chatty, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. If you guys just want to chat, get ready, listen to me talk about random stuff, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let's just get into this. You can see there's dry shampoo in my hair. Let me just tell you guys, so I've used Batiste sh dry shampoo, like, I don't know anybody that hasn't used dry shampoo from Batiste, but I never really loved any of the fragrance that they had, and this one, it's light and breezy fresh, is like my new obsession. I have not filmed a video in honestly what feels like forever, and I feel like I say that every single time I, vid time I film a video lately, but, and I know, like, as, I'm just gonna do my makeup as I do this. I'm gonna use the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. I know that as somebody that watches YouTube videos, because I watch YouTube as much as I, more than I film videos actually, when you hear somebody that does YouTube say like, oh, it just I haven't been inspired, I haven't been this, you're like, really bro, like just turn on the camera and film. But when you, and this is something that Tyler always tells me about because if you guys don't know, my boyfriend Tyler is a tattoo artist, he actually owns a tattoo shop, and he always says that people think that being creative is easy. Like, when you have the juices flowing and everything feels good, yes, it's easy. But when you're not creative at all, like when you don't feel creative, to force yourself to have to be creative is so irritating and so frustrating. And lately, with me, all of my creativity has been being poured into Brendolin and Cora, which is my online store. Like, my creativity is sucked out of me from my store which is obviously like that's like the most important thing to me like my business is number one it's over anything else that I do because that's like my dream that's always been my dream and then from there is YouTube because the people that have followed me for a long time are people that like shop for my business and all that so it kind of just ties hand in hand but like I don't I think the last video that I uploaded was a week ago and like I have not had any care like the other day yesterday I had time and I was just like I don't I'm not feeling it the day before I had time and I was just like mm. like all this week I had time and I just did not want to do it and it sucks it sucks because you want to put out content and you want to have videos going out but then it's like when you don't feel it you just can't do it so I'm gonna go into the Huda Beauty palette um, this is the nude new nude Huda palette this is what it looks like, and I think I'm just going to have some fun today because I haven't filmed in forever, so I'm going to zoom you in. And I'm going to go, I want to do something with the glitter, I think. So I'm going to go into the color Teddy, which is this one here, and I'm going to mix it a little bit with this color here, which is Tickle. Um, this Teddy shade has been my favorite. I have been enjoying this palette so much. The last look that I did in it, I'm not going to lie though, it wasn't my absolute favorite because the mattes don't do very well. Like, they do amazing on the crease and like outer corner but on the lid I just feel like they don't perform the very best and if you haven't seen my last video when you see that video you'll understand what I mean like in the crease they look phenomenal they blend easily like I haven't even been blending for long and they just go in so smoothly but on the like on the lid like I did like a dark purple smoky situation and I like pushed through because I was just not into it like that. And I liked it up until I put the dark purple on my eyes. I should have put like a dark eyeliner on my lid first, like a dark base, and then put the purple on top. Because the issue with a lot of dark eyeshadows is that when you pack them all over your lid, you can see skin through. And that's what was happening with me is I was able to see, like as I was trying to build the color, it kept picking back up and you could see my eyelid through it, which obviously like that's not what you want. Um, but yeah, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a really long time. I'm going to pick up the color Raw, which is this one, and I'm going to mix it with the color Spanked, which is this one down here. Um, but yeah, things have just been going so well with my store. And I know a lot of you guys follow me like on Instagram and follow my business. And I know I talk a lot about my business on here, so I'm sorry if that like annoys you or anything. But that is like my child, like literally everything that I do is for that business. And seeing it grow is like one of the most proud things. Like I, I'm just so proud of it. Like we signed over a um, 
like a face. So we have the face of our brand and her name is Azure. Um, she models and she actually modeled in our white fashion show, which some of you guys might remember that show from last year. We had our first like ever like walking fashion show and she walked in it and she was just, she's such a, like she, one, she's beautiful obviously, but her energy, like she is one of those people that you be, like you get around her and you just feel happy around her. And I love her spirit so much and her energy. She actually goes to my church. Um, she just got baptized actually pretty recently. So I'm just so happy that we have her because having a face of your brand is so important and we didn't have one and it's like we weren't having like the time we didn't know who was going to be reliable who we'd be super proud to have and she is literally like it so we just shot her a couple of days ago shot like as in like pictures our assistant Alanis she took the photos I edited them and it was just such a good balance of teamwork that day it was just such a good day and like I even got emotional like when I was uploading the photos to um our website I was getting emotional just looking at it because I was like wow like this just looks so good I was just so emotional about it I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna do the light color this light pink here I don't know how these go on I'm kind of nervous okay, I'm gonna have to use my finger I don't even know if I need like a glue for this but Wow! Hopefully this doesn't like fall off of my eyes all day long. It feels like it has like a sticky base to it, but when you press your finger into it in the pan, it feels loose. Wow. I hope this is picking up on camera as intense as it looks in person. Wow, wow, wow. Um, but yeah, so... A lot's been going on with the store and my business partner has been out of town for work. So when she's out of town, it's very hard for me to do anything else because it's like only me. Aside from like Alanis and Brendalyn's mom who also works for us. So it's harder to do a lot of other things because all literally all of my energy is going to that. So it's just hard, like I said, to focus on anything else other than the store when it's just me running it really so I think she gets back today actually so once she gets back it's gonna be a little bit easier but then it's like I work all weekend so trying to balance a lot at the same time is not freaking easy I give it to like moms who are business owners people who work full-time and go to school full-time like anybody that does anything like that hats off to you because I understand how much work it is and it is it's like you feel like people don't understand. That's how I feel all the time is that I feel like people don't understand. Like family members, all, friends, all that, like they don't get how much work you're putting into it and that it's not like you're just twiddling your thumbs on a, a computer all day. Like it's a lot of work. Okay, so this pink is absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna leave it just like this. I have glitter all over my face. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's just where my mind's at. I have not cared to film straight up. I have not wanted to do it. I have had no desire. But today I was like, I'm in the mood to film. And I feel like that's the best part about doing YouTube. Obviously I don't do YouTube full time. It's not my full time thing. Um, but I, I mean, I do do it part time. And that's the beauty of it is that when you're ready, your subscribers are there just waiting. For you and they don't care how long it's taken they don't care how many times or how much time you need off they're there and they're excited when they see you come back I'm doing some liner with the Sephora hot precision eyeliner I'm just gonna do a line I don't want to do a wing just because I don't want to cover everything okay so we're back zoom you out and this dry shampoo is making me look crazy but we're gonna go ahead and move into foundation and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation this is in the shade 485 I know there's like oh golden sun so I've been using this foundation for a while but I had gone to Bimini and I got super tan so I couldn't wear my shade anymore so I've just been waiting patiently until I could and it's finally the day that I can wear my foundation. 
Um, this foundation is like a medium to full coverage. I would say more medium, but I'm pretty sure you can build it. My favorite type of coverage is a medium coverage. That's just what I feel the best with. I like my skin looking like skin. I like um, the finish to be more of a natural. I do like matte foundations as well, but I like those only if I'm going to be out, like, outside, really hot. Um, and then on top of that, like, sometimes, like, if I'm going to be in somewhere that's really hot, like, if I'm going to a theme park or something, I'm not wearing foundation. Like, there's so many places that I go that I'm like, eh, no. Nah. Even, like, most days in the summer, I don't wear foundation. And if I'm going to wear foundation, I'm going to wear something that's super matte so that I'm not all greasy and shiny. It's a little bit light for my forehead, as you can tell, but once I put, like, powder and bronzer and all that, it matches here really, really well. This type of foundation is my favorite type of foundation. A medium coverage and, a, a like, a natural finish. Like, my skin doesn't look like I have a layer of anything on it. It looks really, like, pretty and... I just love it. So I'm going to use for concealer the, I'm actually going to use two. I'm going to use a little bit of the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the color C9, C16? C16. And I'm going to use this mainly for concealing because you can see it's very close to the color of the foundation. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my e.l.f. Camel Concealer for brightening. Um, this concealer is very full coverage and very, very brightening. So I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to be too light for the rest of my face. And I'm just going to blow in this out. I don't know why I'm feeling a really beat, snatched face today. Probably because I haven't worked at Sephora in like four days. And when I haven't, I get like really excited to do my makeup again because that's really the only time that I like do a full, full face unless I'm going somewhere like super fancy. And even if I am going somewhere, like let's say I'm going to dinner, I'm going to have like a girl's night or something like that. It's usually just liner and lashes. Like that's my go-to. Liner and lashes. That combo looks so pretty under the eyes. I'm going to take a tiny little bit of... The e.l.f. concealer there. This concealer, guys, when I say is no joke, it is no joke. Like, full coverage. In other amazing news, if you're Puerto Rican, or if you're not Puerto Rican and you're just keeping up with everything that's going on, Puerto Rico just got the governor to resign, and I've been following the story since it, like, blew up which it's been 12 days now that Puerto Ricans have been fighting and rallying and like all that to get this guy out and he finally resigned at like a little after midnight last night and it just makes me very proud if you guys didn't know I'm Puerto Rican. I wasn't born in Puerto Rico but um, my father was born in Puerto Rico, my mother was born in New York but she's Puerto Rican, my grandparents are Puerto Rican, like I'm Puerto Rican as far as it goes back until like we get to like my great great grandparents and that's where I like veer off um, but yeah it just makes me very proud to be Puerto Rican everybody I feel like right now is so proud because like the Puerto Rican people are such proud people they're not gonna let anybody walk all over them they're not gonna let anyone take advantage of them and they're also so kind and so peaceful that the fact that they did this no one was killed, no, like nothing crazy happened. They just peacefully protested. And it was just, I watched it every day, every single day. And it's just really proud to look at. And like, I'm so jealous. My sister actually is there right now, my younger sister. She's there for a bachelor, bachelor party. And last night I texted her and I was like, dude, you're literally going to Puerto Rico at the best time because he just resigned and like I'm sure old Sang Huang is like amazing right now. I'm using my micro smooth powder by the way from Sephora collection in the shade 35 and I set my under eyes with the Derma Blend loose powder. I cannot believe how much of this I still have left. I bought that like two years ago and I still have a whole bunch left. For bronzer, pretty vulgar bronzer because I love this bronzer so much. This is in the shade bronze mannequin. And I'm just hitting my forehead because, you know, we gotta contour that a bit. The cheekbones. I 
can't wait to go to Puerto Rico again. We've been looking to go. We've been trying to go for months, but it just was not adding up. And then we were going to go for our anniversary, which is next month. But the tickets were so expensive and like I've gone to Puerto Rico so much that like the tickets are usually like $120 round trip and the tickets right now are like 300 bucks and I'm like, bro, like why? What's going on? Now I want to go even more like I want to go so bad, but we're actually going in January, which still seems like it's so far. Um, we're going for a festival that they have and I'm really excited. Tyler loves Puerto Rico. He loves everything, everything about like the Puerto Rican culture. Like he loves it. He loves the food. He loves the music. He loves the people, the culture. He loves all of it. So that makes me really happy. I'm going to spray my face with the Make It Last setting spray from Milani. And I'm going to pick up my favorite highlighter, which is broken, but I don't care. I've still been using this. It's literally all in crumbles. And here I am. I love this highlighter so much. So underrated. So underrated. Like, oh. So good. But that's fine. I like using underrated makeup because then I can actually find it. Except this right now, I can't find it. So skin is done. I'm going to go back to the eyes now. And I want to use that eyeliner that I used from BoxyCharm. It was the Appeal Gel Liner in the color Deep Taupe. It's like a really, really nice, warm, chocolatey brown. I'm just going to put this in my waterline. And a little bit underneath my waterline. Just so I can like smoke that out. But this um, liner, it has a really nice, like warm, reddish tone. So I like using it with this palette a lot because it complements the undertones in it. Now I'm going to pick up the color Teddy, which is the first transition shade that I used. And just use that right underneath it. Or what do I want to do for lips? I think I want to do something super me. So I'm going to do Beyond Nude Lip Liner. And I actually have this little Makeup Forever lipstick that I've been using that's super cute. It's in the shade M101. So I'm going to line my lips with this. And then over top, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever lipstick in M101. Got to do something with this hair. This is how my hair was yesterday. Guys, this dry shampoo scent is everything, everything in the world. It smells so, like I can still smell it in my hair. Lower lashes, my hair is so dark. Have you guys, it's crazy. You guys have never seen me with my hair this dark before. Day three and my hair doesn't even look dirty. My hair is usually disgusting by day three. You zoom me out. All right guys, so this is the completed look. This was a very chatty video, like super chatty, but I hope you guys like this. I think this glitter is so freaking pretty. Another win with this palette uh let's see what else i can come up with i have another week i think to come up with more video ideas with this palette i want to try to do two more i want to do an all matte look and then something else so i hope you guys enjoyed this subscribe if you guys haven't already thank you guys for sticking through even when i don't have any content ideas to film i will see you guys in my next video bye